adventure! There's something that's been bothering me. Sometimes you go to a certain place, and when you get there, people are doing things, and there are sometimes people that are there that simply should not be there. Let me add some context to this for you. My sister is going to be on vacation for two weeks, and she works at a dog park. I have a dog. Her name is Cassie. Dory, look so cutie, so floofy, dory, fluffy, baby. And the main way we get her to get some exercise is that we take her to the dog park so she can run around and play and interact with other dogs. Now, seeing as how my sister works at the park, she is normally the one who takes her there. But now that she's on vacation for the next two weeks, that responsibility has befallen onto me. So I've been taking my dog to the park every day for the past, like, five or so days. Now, it doesn't take a writing genius to be able to think about and visualize the setting for a dog park, right? You know, there's gravel everywhere, grass, it's sunny, it's beautiful, lots of dirt everywhere, poop flying all over the place. So it's not exactly a place for technology, right? You'd think so. I try not to be judgy with people, I practice what I preach, but there was a woman at the dog park today who was just sitting in this tiny, tiny chair, just using a laptop. But not like a tiny laptop or anything, it was like a big white Acer laptop computer that she was just working in on her lap. Now initially you go, alright, it's pretty dirty here, there's a lot of gravel kicking up everywhere from the dogs, there's a lot of slobber from the dogs everywhere, they, they shit wherever they want, so why exactly would you bring a computer here? That's kind of weird, but okay, whatever, if she wants to do that, then no skin off my ass, right? But then she just started doing something that really confused the hell out of me. There were all these dogs playing around her and like wrestling and like doing these little nips at each other. The dogs playing with each other at a dog park f for dogs, because that's what they do. But whenever the dogs were playing near her, she would get really mad. Like she kept going like... And you have no idea how bad I wanted to say, Lady, do you know where the fuck you are? You're at a dog park. And she was getting actually mad that there were dogs playing around her, disrupting her work, or whatever the hell she was doing on this laptop. It, it's like, bro, that's like going to a library and being mad that it's not loud enough. Or like going to a Smash tournament and complaining that it smells like B.O. Do you know where you are, Ed Boy? Like, seriously, that makes no sense. You're gonna take your fucking laptop and try to work or watch YouTube videos or whatever the hell is that you shouldn't be doing there at a dirty dog park with gravel and hair and saliva and poop and tennis balls everywhere and you're going to be mad that there are dogs playing around you? Like... <laughs> I can't help but feel like this woman was probably the same kind of person who like walks into like a crowded Starbucks or something, spends like 10 minutes at the front of the line lecturing the barista about how her iced cafe macchiato, dickiato, whatever, should have exactly three quarter teaspoons of milk, not an extra drop or less, still complains when she gets her drink, and then be upset that this crowded coffee shop is too loud. <clears throat> Christ, dude. And she was actually getting mad at the dogs, like genuinely upset. And at one point she snapped at the dogs a little saying, uh, can't you two play somewhere else? And I'm no Lorax or anything, but I feel like I speak for the dogs when I say this. Can you take your laptop somewhere else? Maybe an environment that's more suited for a laptop? Cause like this woman, like the dogs were just dancing and jumping all around her and like every three seconds she was lifting up her computer and blowing on it and like wiping the dust off and everything and I do mean that she was doing this like every three seconds as if the problem is somehow not on top of her. Like you think taking your high tech equipment to a place as dirty and as rambunctious as a dog park might not be a bad idea? You, you don't think you should blame yourself for that one? That's, that's not your fault? A little bit? No, it's the dog's fault. It's all the dog's fault for playing in the dog park. What the fuck, dude? And I'm gonna give this woman the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she took her dog there to get exercise because she didn't have any other time of the day to do it, and because that conflicts with her schedule a little too much, maybe she really had to get work done by a certain time, which is why she brought her laptop over to the dog park in the first place. But then the other end of the argument, like, there are benches outside the dog park, and frankly, if I were her, I wouldn't take my laptop within, like, a 10-foot pole's distance away from that park. It's dirty as shit. We bring, like, 30-something, 30 35 dogs to that that park on the daily. I, that is, there's no place for technology, dude. If anything, it should be a place where the technology, like, fears. Like, it's the kind of thing that would be in, like, their CPU data storage in their fucking nightmares. Like, just actually getting concerned about waking up at a dog park, a dirty dog park, where they're gonna get trampled and saliva on by wild dogs. I know that shit isn't my CPU up there. My Switch is never gonna see that dog park in its entire lifespan. Hell 
No. And as if that wasn't enough, I never do this kind of thing normally, but I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos recently, and it's buffoonery, like it's debauchery, it's it's goobery has baffled me on levels that I, I don't even remember the last time a YouTube comment did this for me, but just take a look at yourself. Here's what it says. Your know-it-all voice sounds hella squidward. What? Bro, I'm not even offended. Like, I wouldn't make YouTube videos about comments that offended me. And like, I, I'm a YouTuber, all right? I have pretty thick skin when it comes to this kind of stuff. But I just have to talk about it because what the fuck does this even mean? Your know-it-all voice sounds hella squidward? Is that some new, like, Gen Z millennial slang that I'm not getting or something, even though I'm technically one of them? What the fuck, it, what the fuck does hella squidward mean? <laughs> Explain what? That you, Squidward Tentacles, was voted most likely to suck eggs in high school? <laughs> Jesus Christ. If this has been a problem in any of my previous videos about my know-it-all voice sounding hella Squidwardy, I promise I'm gonna try and tone this down in the future. He is not the first person to have told me that my know-it-all voice is, in fact, hella Squidwardy, and I promise you, I will tone that down. And again, I'm not offended at the comment or anything. If anything, it made me laugh really, really hard when I first saw it. I just feel like I have to talk about it or something and get other comments on that issue because I- What the fuck does that mean? Is, like, Squidward some sort of new slang term or something? Did he mean to say that I sound like Squidward? I feel like that's probably what it is. I feel like he meant to say that I probably sound like Squidward. That is probably it now that I think about it. Oh my god. Well, now that I got all that out of me... It's time to do a shameless plug. My crew, Third Day Esports, is gonna start hosting our Kingdom Tournaments weeklies again on Thursdays. And I bring this up to you guys who may not even live in New Jersey for a very special reason. I can't really bear all the details for why people should come to our next local, which is going to be on Thursday the 24th. But trust me when I say that for the good of the future of the New Jersey Smash scene, it's really, really important and beneficial to everybody if a good amount of people show up to the local on Thursday the 24th. I'm not exactly at liberty to explain why. I kind of want to, but I can't. But trust me when I say that it's going to be really, really good for the scene if a lot of people come to specifically next Thursday's Kingdom on the 24th of May. So if you live in the New Jersey area and you're thinking about coming to a great Smash 4 local, come to Kingdom the Weekly on Thursday, May 24th. And if you do do it, don't do it for the sake of my crew, third day, whatever. Don't do it for my sake, because it really isn't. It's really for the benefit of the entire Jersey scene when I say this. Believe me. And again, I wish I could explain to you why, but I really can't. But trust me when I say, you're not going to want to miss this one. Links to everything will be in the description down below, and it would really mean the world to us if you just peep those out. And if you don't live in Jersey, and if you're one of my fans from like somewhere else, which I assume would be most of you, if you could just share it around on your Facebook, just like share it, like tell your friends, like, oh, check this out, and then maybe, maybe check out our stream, something like that, it really helps us out a lot more than you think. And like I said, don't think of it as doing it as something for the crew, or even for me, you're helping out a lot more people by doing that than you think. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to leave a like, that helps me out a bunch. Leave a like down below, comment down below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm really, really close to 5K. I can almost taste it, but I haven't been able to taste it because school and my internship have been bodying me to no end. But those are finally done, so I'm going to try and start making videos and stream more for you guys and your viewing pleasure. And that is pretty much going to do it. My name is Antunis. Thank you all so much for watching, and take care, everybody. I'll see you next time. Ciao. Oh, and by the way, I feel like I forgot to mention something here. Uh, top 10 buff Smash characters comes out tomorrow. Like, literally tomorrow. Like, the day after this video goes up, top 10 buff Smash characters is going to come out. Just something I felt like you guys should know. See you later.